Bless the Lord. I would like to welcome you all to another service here at the Model Church of God. I would like to welcome all the viewers on Facebook, on YouTube. I pray that you will be blessed.
Water you turn into wine. Open the eyes of the blind. There's no one like you. There's none like you. Into the darkness you shine. Out of the ashes we rise.
again this morning. He's excellent in all his ways. Give him the best praise this morning. He has his own praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I want to greet you in the mighty name of Jesus. I want to greet our viewers on Facebook and just about everyone who is in the house of the Lord this morning. I want you to join with me as we sing from our hymn number 27. Jesus has loved me. Wonderful Savior, Jesus has loved me. I cannot tell why. Praise God. Hymn number 27. Praise God. Amen. Jesus has loved me.
and to take us to the throne of grace. Hallelujah. We bless you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Bless your name, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The songwriter got a wonderful glimpse. Yeah. He said, Jesus has loved me. Yeah. And I said, I love you. He saved you. Yeah. And I said, see him in a left dinner. You know, he leaves. Yeah. And when he leaves you, you can't not but follow. And so when you do all of that, there's a problem yeah. of life yeah. splendor. Yeah. What a wonderful saying that he is. Hallelujah. That's the name of Jesus. Boy, you didn't let us pray. Praise God. Turn up God, a wonderful Savior. Mighty God. King of kings and Lord of lords. God, a wonderful Savior. The one who looked down and see that man was in need of a Savior. And God, you sent your wonderful son to come and die for us. Lord, this morning we crown you with our praises. We exalt you this morning, God. Wonderful Savior from the depths of our heart, we exalt you this morning. We crown you as the great I am this morning. The loving Savior, the God of the impossible this morning, we give you our all this morning. And so God, we ask you to accept our worship today. Lord God, let us not show and lift our hands in vain, but let our worship come up to you this morning as a sweet Savior. And oh God, you will turn a blessing upon your people today. Mighty God, we thank you for the rain. Oh God, we thank you for the sunshine. Oh blessed God, we thank you, Lord, for saving us this morning. God, because of, without you, God, this morning we would be nothing. Some of us would be under the cold dirt this morning. But God, you look down and you put this day fit for us to give you worship. And we thank you, Lord. Thank you, God, as we gather in your house this morning, Lord, we are nothing before you. But God, we ask that you will come and you will fashion us this morning in your likeness. Oh God, we have a consecration earlier on before we we'll consecrate us anew this morning. Oh God, when you consecrate us, God, pour out your anointing upon us today. Oh God, let your blessing be felt among your people today. Let heart leave here rejoicing today. Oh God, help us not to look at the empty benches, but look at what's coming from above. Because that great things come from above this morning and come from you, mighty God. Lord, we just unveil ourselves in your presence this morning. Lord, we ask you to bless on the rust to the view. Oh God, we ask you to bless on our my servant this morning, our moderator. God, as it's time to leave this morning, mighty God, I ask you to speak to the man of God this morning. Lord, we ask you to give him eyesight this morning, God, to see the impossible this morning. And as they leave, mighty God, help him not to lead ourselves, but rather to lead to you, because you already set the leading, mighty God. Help us to follow in your footsteps. Oh, blessed Holy Ghost, bless the musician this morning. Touch your fingers this morning, God. Oh God, help them not just to play, but play within their hearts. Because in your heart, in their heart, that's where you reside this morning. Mighty God, everyone say that this is in the house this morning. Oh God, I pray that you will touch their heart. Help them to come to you, God, to know you who is life eternal this morning. God, this morning I declare and decree a mighty blessing over this house in the name of Jesus. Oh God, I pray that life will be changed. I pray that jobless situation will get job during the course of the week. Pain will go in the name of Jesus. Sickness will go in the name of Jesus. Depression will go in the name of Jesus. Child heart will go in the name of Jesus. God, you are the God of the impossible. Bless the people today. Bless the reading. Bless the song. Bless the one who shall come forth with the word this morning. I pray, God, that as the word come forth, Lord, it will cut a sunlight in somebody's heart. Oh, God, and somebody will cry out and heal this morning. God, take over and bless them in a mighty way. Lord, for those who are in greater land, do it this morning. Oh, God, whatsoever the situation may be, mighty God, speak in their situation this morning. And pronounce a blessing upon them. In the name of Jesus, take over today, God. And Lord, we leave ourselves in your capable hands. 
and return it up for a wonderful day in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Sister Julia. And while we remain standing, I want you to turn your Bibles to St. Matthew chapter 5, and we read from verses 1 through 13. In fact, it's 12 verses, I think it does. Or close up. Verse 13. Stop at verse 13. Stand to the reading of the word, whether you have your Bibles or not. Praise God. Let us begin. And seeing the multitudes, he went up into a mountain. When he was set, his disciples came unto him. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are the meek. For they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are he when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Together verse 13. He are the salt of the earth, but if the salt has lost its savior, wherewith shall it be salted? It is therefore good for nothing but to be cast out and to be trodden under foot of men. This is the word of the Lord. We honor it by saying, Glory be to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, it's now and never shall be. Word without end. Amen. Can you give God a praise? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. I am blessed. I am blessed. Jesus 
is eating their life. I want to greet you all in the mighty name of Jesus. I want to greet all our brothers and sisters in Christ, all our friends, those who are unsaved but you are among us today. We are grateful that you are here. We trust that you will not leave the way you came, but surrender to the living God because indeed you are blessed. Just to be in the house of the Lord, you are blessed. And I trust that in return, you will give him thanks. You will give him your life because that's what he desires of you. I want to greet our musicians today. Praise God. I want to greet our leaders who are here, uh, our ministers and Ella Stewart who will be giving the word. Give a big round of applause to all of God's servants today. Glory to the name of Jesus. I want to greet all of our brothers and sisters in Christ, so the children who are in our midst, our friends from the community, saved or unsaved. We are so grateful to have you, and we trust that you will continue to give God your praise, give Him your all, because that's what He desires of us. Praise God. I especially want to acknowledge in our midst today, Minister Adams. Yes, grateful to have you. Every time you brave the distance, just the distance to be here, it says something, and we want to give God thanks for you, and we continue to pray your strength. We are pleased also to see Simone with us, and um, Cynthia and her nephew Sam, so grateful to have you in the house of the Lord, and great things are going for Cynthia, you know? yeah. so later on you'll hear more about that. God is indeed a good, good God. Amen? And you can't do nothing else but be good. So you continue to trust him because indeed he loves you. Loves us all. Whether we save or unsaved, he loves us with an everlasting love. And all he requires is that we in return will love him wholeheartedly. Praise God. I want to greet all our viewers on Facebook. Yes, and those who will join on YouTube later. So grateful that you are a part of our service today. And we trust that the word will reach your heart. That you will continue to pray for us as we pray for you. And to, together we shall be strengthened in the name of Jesus. Give him another praise. Praise God. For this week, Brother Riley celebrates his birthday on the 18th. I'm not seeing him today. But as the week progresses, we will re remember that. And give him his hip up. And you know, we know that God is able to do great things. So we continue to pray that God will bless and favor him and give him the desires of his heart. Also, want to acknowledge my nephew, Nicholas. Probably wondering how comes me not all about. Good to see you. Long time in the house of the Lord, and I'm glad that you're here today. And I want to declare that nothing happens by chance. And as you give your life to the Lord, you will not be the same. Let today be the turning point in your life, and the Lord will really, really bless you. Shall we bless the Lord? Praise God. We want to give God thanks for those who were able to support the funeral of um, S1 Monroe yesterday. And as a church, we continue to pray for minister. You know, the grieving will not end. It doesn't end yesterday. It will continue for many years to come, depending on how long it takes for her to get over. So as a church, let us be patient. Let us continue to pray. Give our love and our support because indeed, God is able, but of course, it's always good to feel the presence of your fellow men. Yes, it makes a difference. Yes, and so as we pray that God will comfort and strengthen her, let us also be that arm, you know, to lift her up and to pray with her and encourage her because that's what we are all about. Amen? Amen. And by way of announcement for those who do not know, Sister Marcia's daughter will be in turn today. And at 12 noon, there will be a viewing, a short viewing, and following that, we go to the, cer the cemetery for the interment. So we want you to be praying for her. Some of you may not know her well, but she has been with us for a while, and we haven't seen her for a while, and she lost her daughter suddenly. But God is able to do it. And as a church, even if you don't remember her, Keep her in your prayers because that's what is going to keep her and the rest of the family in such a trying time. And we know that God is able. Amen? Amen. Bless the Lord. So thank you all. And uh, we want to know, um, ask you to stand as we ask God's blessing on the offering. I'm going to ask you to, I'm going to ask the ushers to come forward. And I'm going to ask Minister Williams to ask God's blessing on the offering today. And then we will do the collection. Let us pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, we glorify you. Lord, we 
Lord. Magnify you. Indeed, you are awesome. Indeed, yes. you are great. And Lord, as we come into your house to give you praise, we come into your house with our tithes and offering to give unto you as also worship. And Lord, as we give with our hearts and mind, I pray in the name of Jesus that you will bless us abundantly. I pray, God, as we stretch forth and give to your work, I pray, God, that you will turn, you will turn over, oh God, a hundredfold. Heavenly Father, I pray that you will take full control. Bless those who have and bless those who don't have that next time they will have to give. But Lord, we come into your house to worship you with our tithes and offering. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Sing out, the Lord is here. Build him a temple here. A palace of praise, a throne of thanksgiving, built for the
worship, he deserves praise. And there is none like him today. Glory to your name, Jesus. At this time, I want to invite God's servant to come and declare his word. Bless God. Hallelujah. I ask you to stand as we make welcome today, Elder Stewart, as he comes to declare God's word. May our hearts be challenged. May our hearts be blessed. Give him your support. And indeed, God shall speak. Amen. God bless you, sir. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Project God dictated that we do a certain appointment. But that we can make a version. Amen. Amen. And we are so fortunate for well, the choir moment. The choir mistress is here with us today. Well, I'll be going to start and my heart. Yes, sir. 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 And I have to stop all the way, but it's not demon. So, God favors me. God favors me. God favors me. But the way I'm just here, I'm going to see it in the glory of God. We know. We don't want to shut up without. God favors me. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Sometimes it's good to wake up and just to recognize that God favors you. Hallelujah. Amen.
don't deliver a born. Who you remember right that? Well, here what the Bible said. A pastor, Elisha died. They saw a group of men coming. And they threw the dead man and they go to the burial man. And the Bible said they saw they were coming in a group. And they decided to throw the body, the dead body, into the tomb of Elisha. And the Bible said when, when the body touched the moon, he came back to life. Even the moon didn't lose his flavor. <laughs> the moon had the flavor same way. Because the man was a praying man. In season and out of season. Esther came to the kingdom. And when Esther came to the kingdom, the Bible mentioned nothing about she prayed. She found favor in the king's eye. But it was not that the, the, the kingdom was threatened. That she really decided that no man, this great call of fasting and prayer. So in that course of time, she did not have the favor, but she got the flavor of the prayer and fasting. Don't lose your flavor. Things will not change your life, but maintain your flavor. Job lost everything, everything. And the wife decided to test his flavor. She said, look, come on. Cross, cross, look at that. And cross, cross, look at that. Man. He said, no. And he was able to tell her that you speak like one of the foolish women. In other words, you talk like somebody who don't have flavor. I not only have flavor, I have flavor. So the confidence from Job kept his integrity. Job kept his faith, his flavor and his favor. And Job was able to say, even though he slay me, yet will I trust him. You can trust him with your life because he's a keeper of the soul. You can trust him with your life but only to prayer and fasting. Let a person come to church, come to God, but after a while, we don't know what to come to them. God fear with them. Because once you have life, it's the fear of God. You know, it must give you life. So we have the fear of God. But we also need that flavor to keep us in tune with God. The flavor to, 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 to keep us together. The flavor to preserve us against that fear. So we can all join together, like the song I just said, God favors me. God favors me. Indeed, we have to have this morning because we are here. In our right mind. And yesterday when we went out to the burial plot, thousands of graves was there. And all who went there, not one stable, all came up home except the car, the, 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 the carcass that was taken there. Why did we come back? Because God favored us. God. And I don't hear what about me sick for going there because God favored us. And this morning, what I say to one, I say to God, he is the one he to hear. Let him hear what the Spirit of God said. God favors me. But again, you respect for what might be happening in your life. You are alive! So what? God favors you. Yes! You might get some bad news. Yes, you might get some bad dreams. Yes, you might be feeling fear. But you can lift your hand and let the devil know God favors me. God favors me. Now here the conclusion of the world matter. Fear God. Keep your commandment. One commandment that says, men are to pray always. If you do that, you'll never lose your favor. Now your favor. God bless you.
Let's continue to give God praise. We thank Elder Stewart for sharing just the time the word with us today. Don't lose your saltness. Don't lose the flavor. Don't lose your savior. Your savior. That's what God requires of us today. And he quoted from Mark chapter 9. Just for correction, it's verse 49 through 50 that speaks about the salt. And then that section talks about tasteless salt is worse, worthless. Tasteless salt is worthless. And it says to us, for everyone shall be salted with fire. And every sacrifice shall be salted with salt. And the verse he quoted was, salt is good. But if the salt have lost its saltness, Wherewith will he be salt, will be seasoned it? Have salt in yourselves and have peace one with another. So brothers and sisters, when we not live right, the salt on the day. The salt in the life. And we're talking about the good kind of salt. Yes? Because when you talk about bacteria, everybody thinks it bad. But there are some good bacteria as well. Amen? And it's the same thing with salt. Everybody says salt in a negative light. My salt, my salt, my salt. But I'm telling you, you need the good salt. Because that's the salt that helps you to believe in yourself. And that's the salt that helps you to have peace with your fellow men. What a message today. Praise God. So when we can't live peaceful, check the salt level. Probably you don't have the right kind of salt. Amen. Maybe a seasoning salt. Or a sea salt, and I love sea salt, you know, sea salt is good on Piyaki. Yes, so there is a different kind of salt for all different salt and things. But make sure you have the right salt, because that salt helps you to live peaceful with your fellow men and help you to love God and to be a lighthouse, to be an example, so that others' life can be touched and encouraged by your salt and the life that you live. Can you give him a praise today? Our salt example come from Jesus. And I want to close with the song, Light of the World, You Stepped Out Into Darkness. It's because the salt was in him. Yes, that he could do that. And today, that's our model. And as we come today, we are here to worship him. We are here to give him our praise. I invite you to stand. And as we close today, if you do have a prayer request, if you feel you don't have the right salt, I invite you to come. And receive of the Lord because indeed he's here to bless and to do us good. Praise God. Light of the world, you set down into darkness. Open my eyes, let me see.
put to others. Lord, let your son dwell within me. Make a difference in my life. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. I want to give God praise today. So TV is awesome. And he's worthy. Father, we lift you up. We adore you, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. We declare that there is no God like Jehovah. We declare that you are God of the season. You are God of all time. And God, as your word comes today to encourage us of the importance of salt, I pray, mighty God, that we will look deep within the recesses of our hearts and see where we stand with you. Many times, oh God, our salt becomes worthless because it is tasteless. Oh, and our salts are not good example for others to pattern and want to be a part of. But we declare today, my God, that the salt from heaven will flow into our lives, will make us whole today, will clean out everything within us, will preserve, oh God, the righteousness of Christ within us today, that the salt will bring us favor, the salt will bring us flavor, so that others will be attracted to our worship, to our living. We pray that the salt, mighty God, will come forth in our lives and will cause us to worship, will cause us, oh God, to live according to your precepts, will cause us to be reminded that you're counting on us, will cause us to walk straight before you and to be perfect in this generation, in this present world. I pray, mighty God, for a fresh dose of your salt in our lives, that we will be able to live peaceful with all persons in this trying time. I pray, God, that the salt will cause us to triumph, that the salt, mighty God, will cause us to grow, that the salt, mighty God, will cause us to overcome, that the salt, mighty God, will keep us, just as how you keep the fresh fish in the salt sea, mighty God, let your salt do a work church today, mighty God. So many things have hindered us from demonstrating and walking in this thought that you've called us to walk. And I pray that as the word reminds us that we are the salt of the earth, mighty God, we will rise to the challenge. We will stand fast in this liberty. We will show forth that there's a God who dwells in this world. And God, will cause others to be drawn to you. Let your soul flow in our hearts today. Yes, if there's too much sweetness, if there's too much pollution, if there's too much that is not of you today, we crave a fresh touch of your soul that will dispel and change our situation and cause us to be the example that you've called us to be. Touch your people today, especially your man servant to declare this word to our soul today. May we take it, oh God, and may we think about it and look at our lives today. See where we stand with you. If our lives are good examples, and if our lives are really pointing others to you. So bless your man servant today. Continue to inspire him and use him to your glory and honor. Cause, oh God, that the salt within him, oh God, will be expanded and be showing forth as he go forth from day to day. Bless him in a special way, his household. Yes, everything that he put his hands to, we declare that they are blessed today. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit, we lift up the church before you mighty God every condition every situation that is not of you we dispel them today because your salt is here to, to change the atmosphere your salt mighty 
God is here to give us victory and hope that we can triumph in this time. So we call for to touch mighty God and to break strongholds. That you mash up the enemy's plan. Yes, mighty God, this is plans today. We write, oh God, our, our, our destiny, we pray. And cause us, oh God, that we will go forth and conquer. Because you are with us. And greater is he that is within us than he that is within the world. Bless your people today in a special way. Every heart that is gathered here today, we declare them blessed. We declare that no more softness will be named among us. But we will be people of victory. Be people who triumph. People who succeed. Because the thoughts towards us, mighty God, your thoughts towards us, they are good. And you have thoughts to give us an expected end and to give us a future. And we declare that over our lives today in the precious name of Jesus. Even for Cynthia, she comes to our house today to worship you. We thank you for disobedience. And Father, we're thankful for your blessings that you're pouring out upon her. Yes, and indeed, you favor her. Hallelujah. And I pray, mighty God, that she will not leave the way she came. But God, as we pray, her heart will be touched. And she will know that she's called to be a part of the salt of the earth. And she will be, oh God, an example so that others will pattern her and be led to glorify you. Even now, we thank you for what you have provided for her. Yes, my God, a motor car. And we thank you for this that you have blessed her with. And so even now, we declare her car blessed in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost. We declare, mighty God, that this car will be covered by your mighty hand. We pray that no evil will come near this vehicle. We declare, mighty God, that it will be safe. We declare that it will work at all times. It will be work road worthy. It will be upkeep, oh, mighty God. You will be the driver every day, every time that it is moved. And we declare that the hand of God will encircle, will cover this vehicle and keep the occupant safe every time that it's moved. I pray that your very presence will dwell in this vehicle to journey with those that will travel along. Every time that they will travel, they will know that there is a God, a God who is able to bring us out and to take us in. I pray that your presence will lift up a standard so every time that there is accident or anything that is lurking, oh God, and lying ahead, that your very presence will bring forth a reroute, will be able to change and to make, oh God, your daughter and those that will travel along be safe all time. So we declare this week of bless. Oh God, through the blood of Jesus Christ. And we declare that these keys, oh God, they will be used. And every time that it is turned to open the door or to turn on the ignition, I pray that the presence of God will always be activated. The seeds, mighty God, we declare that the fire of God will rest upon them in the name of Jesus. Oh And no, no plan of the enemy will take force this morning because this car is covered through the blood of Jesus Christ. So we thank you for the victory today. And we thank you for the blessing that you have given to your daughter. And I pray that she in turn will give you her all because that's what you desire in Jesus' name. Thank you for hearing our cries today. Oh God, as we dismiss this service today, we pray that your very presence will go with us. Hide us in yourself, mighty God. We thank you for the good weather that you have extended to us yesterday, even today. And we pray that you continue, Lord, to give us the sunshine and keep, oh God, the weather under your control. So that as we will prepare, oh God, for the interment today, that we will be able to do it, oh God, and to celebrate you for a life that you have loaned to us. Cover your people under your blood, mighty God. Bless us as we pray, as we go through this week. Let our eyes be on you. Help us to continue to be reminded that we are the salt of the earth. Bless us, we pray, in Jesus' name.
Amen. Amen. Praise God from whom all Just love you with the love.